Greetings, everyone. I am honored and excited to celebrate the virtual launch of the Lancet Countdown, Tracking Progress on Health and Climate Change 2022 Global Report in U.S. Brief. Congratulations to the many organizations, all 80 of you, professional societies, researchers, health leaders that, again, work globally and domestically to make this report a reality. I started working as a researcher uh, and advocate at the intersection of climate change, health, and environmental justice over 15 years ago. And I've seen how climate change has uprooted, disrupted, and in some cases, shortened the lives of so many people. I've witnessed my family, my friends, and neighbors suffer from multiple heat waves, severe flooding. I've tended to love one's physical and mental health and overall well-being, which has been jeopardized by repeated pollution exposure and the trauma of experiencing climate tragedies over and over again. But I know my family and friends are not alone. As the 2022 Lancet report confirms, climate change continues to be an injustice amplifier for communities across the U.S. This report, along with the wrath of hurricanes, heat waves, fires, and flooding that dominate the headlines, underscore the unfortunate reality that folks are continually exposed to more pollution and not offered the best solution. That your health status is dictated by your zip code and the amount on your paycheck. That investments and resources often miss the communities they need to target. And that community voices and expertise, which are foundational to decision-making, are often silenced and shut out. But I am here to say, that this reality and our climate is shifting. And I'm not just talking about the physical climate, but the climate of government, the climate of leadership, and the climate of opportunity. I am deeply honored and privileged to serve as the Senior Director for Environmental Justice at the White House Council on Environmental Quality. And because President Biden and Vice President Harris have advanced the most ambitious climate and environmental justice agenda ever seen in the history of this country. Having spent much of my life as an environmental justice advocate, I know that policy can never be perfect, but this administration has made some great progress because of people like you. So one of those areas of progress as noted in the report is the Inflation Reduction Act, which represents, again, the single largest investment, and I think the most impactful, potentially the most impactful legislation for climate and clean energy solutions in U.S. history. It will position America to achieve Biden's climate goals, cut down energy costs, create good jobs, increase energy security. And moreover, the law will reduce greenhouse gases by about a gigaton, cut pollution in half by 2030 and get us to net zero by 2050. And for communities with environmental justice concerns, this reduction in source pollution, coupled with increases in clean transportation, energy efficiency, and green space, will help build the resilience in communities that have long suffered from environmental racism. It's great to see that the findings and recommendations that are part of this report align strongly with much of the goals of the Biden-Harris agenda. For us to be successful, these historic investments must be cultured or coupled with a culture shift across society as well as across our federal government. And part of this culture shift is the Justice 40 initiative, which is, again, the administration's commitment to ensuring that 40% of the overall benefits of certain federal investments actually make it to disadvantaged and marginalized communities. The task for reorienting federal programs so that their benefits reach these communities is unprecedented. And the Justice 40 initiative has the potential to deliver tangible, real, on-the-ground benefits to communities. And so we are working every day to make sure that Justice 40 and the IRA, again, really are historic. And I firmly believe with intentional investments and a clear path forward, with environmental justice at the forefront, we can create a healthier and more equitable United States. I want to challenge each of you to use this report to do your part in advancing environmental justice, which for me has always been a fight for health. I want to encourage you not to just add this report to your 
physical or virtual bookshelf or your resume, but consider taking some action. And so here are a couple ideas to get you started. So first, I encourage you to think about identifying an environmental injustice in your community and advance one of the many recommendations in this report. Secondly, find a community-based environmental justice or social justice organization that you could support with your time, talents, and energy. Build a partnership, work together to advance climate, health, and equity. And last but not least, spread the news to a friend or family member. Education is power, and the more connections we can make beyond the usual climate suspects, the better. So again, this is just a start, but I am sure you will continue to do great things in whatever role you play. I am truly honored to play a small part in the release of this and look forward to continued partnership as we collectively work to advance health, equity, and environmental justice across this great nation.